Hi everyone, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you a two light dramatic portrait, but also at the same time, I will show you how I capture these action images without even touching my camera. So before anything else, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel and would really want to learn off camera flash photography and maybe just photography in general, this channel is definitely for you. I upload lighting tutorials like this very often and if you want to get notified every time I upload a new video like this then it would be fantastic if you could subscribe and click that notification bell. Now if you also want to see some of the images that I've already created you could also follow me on Instagram it's at Jiggy Alejandrino. Okay so what is the set that we have here basically the concept of this shoot is that I will have my wife Coco sit down here and have powder in her hands then clap and then make the powder spread all over and we will actually be capturing that exact moment every single time without me having to even touch the camera so before that let's talk about the concept of the shoot so I created a corner here using two backdrops from Kate Backdrop these are two 5x7 hand-painted backdrops and the flooring is also a printed vinyl also from Kate Backdrop then I used two flash units the first one is over here by the light that is a Sony F60RM with a Magmod mag grid installed the reason why I have the mag grid is because I want to control the spill of the light here where my wife will be sitting down and basically doing her thing now I also have another F60RM here but this time it is modified using the Magmod mag mask now the mag mask or oh, sorry the Magmod bag beam with the mag mask the mag mask that I installed are the diagonal patterns just to be able to create some nice um, highlights and shadows here okay and this one will also serve as my main light now let's go to the camera that I will be using so the camera that I am using is my Sony a7R Mark IV with a 24 to 70 2.8 GM lens now I will go through the settings of how I'm going to shoot this in a bit but I want to discuss now what I meant about being able to capture every single shot perfectly even though what we are trying to get is Coco actually clapping and holding on to powder so that we can get that burst of powder and give that, um, that look as if she's raring to go. And I will be doing that because of this one, or I can do that because of this one. This is the Myops Smart Plus Camera Trigger. So what is this? Well, it is a camera trigger. In other words, it will allow me to trigger this camera using sound. In other, it has a lot of features actually. It could be triggered via lightning, it can be triggered via laser. There, it's, well, it is a smart trigger, but the option that we are actually gonna be using now is the sound controller. So it has, a, it has a microphone that detects a really loud burst of sound. So the moment that Coco claps, it will automatically detect it and trigger my camera. So we will connect it like so. And that's basically it. Once I turn this one on, every time Coco claps, it's gonna trigger my camera. So before that, let us go through the settings. Right now, I am on manual mode, ISO 100 F4 1 over 250. But what you're seeing now is not actually a representation of the actual exposure that my camera is seeing. That's because my flash is still turned on. If I turn off my flash trigger, that is basically my actual exposure it is pitch black now again i am recording everything that my camera is seeing using my atomos ninja 5 in other words everything that you will be seeing is straight out of the camera unless stated otherwise so at the end of the video i might actually put the final images which are processed but the images that you will be seeing now is straight out of camera no absolutely no edit was done so my shutter speed is at 1 over 250 because that is my flash sync speed for the A7R Mark IV. And at F4, maybe I could actually do F5.6 to make it even darker and to get everything sharper. And we should be good, okay? So when I turn on my flash trigger, again, it automatically disables live view. Therefore, I can actually see what I'm shooting, but technically I don't even need to see it because my Myops flash camera trigger will do everything for me. Now, let's do my flash settings. 
So here you can see that I've already set my flash, my high speed sync is off. I don't have a group C, so I'll turn that off, but I will show you everything that my flashes, my individual flash units are doing. So let me turn off first um, group B, which is this one, that one on top is group A, and I will take one test shot. So that's what group A is doing. It is basically creating a nice rim light and illuminating a bit of the floor. But I think that's a bit underexposed. Um, oh yeah, you know what? If I'm gonna be doing this, I might as well call in my model also so that we can actually see how the light is affecting her. Okay, so babe, come on in. Hi babe. As usual, look fantastic. Thank you very much to Mela Jimenez for again virtually assisting Coco do her makeup today. So again, let's do another test shot. Can we get into the post? Maybe something like that. And you're about to clap, right? Okay. So now we can see how it's going to look. There. So that's what that light on top is doing. It's basically creating a hair light, but I think it's a bit too weak. So maybe we'll make it a bit stronger and put it at one half power. There we go. Oh, there, I like that better now. Okay, that's one half power for that flash on top. So now I will turn off that flash and turn on the main flash, which is this one, which is set at 132 power. And let's take a test shot again. Hmm, interesting, but again, we're underexposed. So let's bring it up one stop, one sixteenth power. There we go, that one I like. Okay, then we'll turn on two flash units, the both flash units now, and see how they combine before we do anything else. There, oh, that's pretty cool. You could actually be looking here a bit, yeah? Can we take that shot first, babe? There, or Wait, I can't see the kettle though, it's not being lit. Maybe you just put that kettle over there on the side. There, so that we can see it. Move it a bit closer. Again. Not to you. Pull it back. And yes, this is Coco's actual kettle bell. That's how she keeps into the, that's how she, she maintains her body this way, okay? All right, babe. Ah, there, that's nice. And the white powder will just actually come out. That's beautiful. Okay, so now let's try this smart trigger. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna turn it on. Then I'm gonna put it to sound. And from sound, you can adjust the sensitivity, the delay and the lock and everything. So I won't touch anything. Let's take one test shot. It's now running. There we go. Can, can you clap? Go. There we go. Okay, let's get the powder. Um, this is what you try to do. When you clap, open up your hands at once okay. and see, or put more powder. We need more powder. Okay, but it's nice. It's very nice. Okay, okay that's it. Put more powder. Oh. Some more, some more, some more, some more. All right, there we go. I got someone that goes. It's, it's fine. It's part of it. All right. Go for it. Mm. That's perfect. That's it. That's it. And that's how simple it was. I didn't even need to touch my camera anymore. I've got a trigger here that basically triggers everything the moment it hears sound it automatically triggers my camera to be able to capture that moment. Again, it's too dusty already in here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please do subscribe to the channel because we got a clean up here. And while you're at it, click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And again, we got a clean up. I hope you guys enjoyed. Okay, bye guys.